Welcome to this video for N5 Electrotechniques and in this video we'll be calculating the resistance starting of DC motors. The main reason for starting resistance is to limit the starting current. We achieve this by placing resistors in series with the armature. Now in this illustration we have four elements and that is represented by the letter M and the number of studs will be the number of elements plus one. So in this illustration, we have four elements connected in series and there are five studs. The total resistance of the starter, if you have a look, you have four resistors that are connected in series to one another. And to calculate the total start resistance, it is V over IA max minus RA. V is the applied voltage. IA max is the maximum starting current and RA is the armature resistance. Y is the constant ratio of the armature current to the maximum armature current. And to calculate the resistance of the first element, R1, it is RS, which is your starting resistance total, multiplied by one minus Y, which is the ratio between IA and IA max, divided by one minus Y to the power of M, and M is the number of elements. To calculate R2, it is simply the ratio multiplied by R1 followed to R3, which is the ratio times R2. And the next one, the final element R4, would be Y times R3. In this example, example 1.13, on page 58 of our textbook, a 20 kilowatt 400 volt shunt motor operating a full load efficiency of 88% must be started by a four element starter. The armature and shunt field resistances are 0.5 ohms and 200 ohms respectively. The starting current must not exceed 120% of the full load current. Determine the resistance of each element of the starter. So here's our shunt motor with four elements and five studs to limit current at start. And our first step we're going to first try and just figure out the different powers here for our circuit. Okay, so first of all, we have our output rating, which is uh, 20,000 watts um, at efficiency of 88%. So therefore, to calculate the input power, it is 20,000 divided by 0, 0,88. And we end up with an input power of 22,000. 22,727,273 watts. Right, the next step, I just want to show you the different values of our resistors. We have RA is the smaller resistance, is 0.5 ohms. R shunt is the bigger resistance, that is uh, 200 ohms. And then we have our terminal voltage of 400 volts. Right, just a note, in order to calculate our IA max, it is going to be 120% multiplied by the armature current. To simplify that, 120 divided by 100 gives you 1,2 times IA to give you the IA max. Right, now we're going to calculate the uh, armature current. And for a shunt motor, IA is equal to IL minus... I shunt. It's a DC circuit, so we use the input power for motors, and to calculate I shunt, it is V over R shunt. So let's substitute those values. The input power, 22727,273 watts, divided by the terminal voltage of 400 volts. And to calculate the shunt current, it is 400 over the shunt resistance of 200 so we end up with an armature current of 54,818 amperes right now that we've got the armature current we can calculate the maximum armature current that this machine will experience and IA max is equal to 1,2 times IA so it's going to be 1,2 times 54,818 and we end up with a maximum armature current of 65,782 amperes. Right, now that we've got the armature current and we can go ahead and calculate the ratio and that is 
represented by the letter Y. So it's going to be IA over IA max. The normal armature current is 54,818 and the maximum armature current is 65,782. And we end up with a ratio of 0.833. And that is important for all our other calculations. Just a, rem a reminder that there are four elements in our calculation. Right, now that we've got the ratio, we've got the currents, uh, we can now start to calculate the resistance. To calculate the total start resistance, it is V over IA max minus the armature resistance. The terminal voltage is 400 volts, and the maximum armature current this machine will experience is 65,782. The smaller resistance for armature is 0,5, so the total starting resistance is 5,581 ohms. Right, now that we've got the starting resistance, now we can calculate the value of each resistor. And so therefore, to calculate the first element, it will be RS multiply by 1 minus Y over 1 minus Y to the power of M. The total starting resistance is 5,581. Uh, the ratio is y, so that's minus 0.833. And below the line, we have 1 minus 0.833 to the power of the number of elements. So therefore, the resistance for the first element is 1,797 ohms. Now we can calculate the second element, which is y times R1. The third element will be y times r2 and the fourth element will be y times r3. So all you have to do is substitute the ratio and multiply by each resistance uh, moving step by step. Right, thanks guys for watching this video for N5 Electrotechniques.